Hello everyone, in this video we are going to download latest version of code blocks. So first you can search code blocks on any search engine, it will show you this downloads code blocks link. We'll put this in description as well. You can just click on the link and then it will open this download page. You can click on binary release. Now you can scroll down and choose your system. So if you are on Linux, choose Linux. If you are on Mac OS, choose this. But I'm on Windows 10, so I'll choose Windows. Now you will have this many options. So uh, in all option where 32 bit is written, it's for 32 bit. Uh, currently my system is 64 bit, so I'll go with uh, the uh, the versions where 32 bit is not written. And MinGW is compiler set for C. C++ so code blocks gives facility to download code blocks as well as MinGW together so I'll click I'll go for MinGW one and I'll go with setup.exe so that I only have to execute it so I'll go to sourceforge.net and it says that my download will start shortly as you can see it started it's take a, it's gonna take five minutes so I'll come back when this is done okay so now it's downloaded so I'll just click it you can also open from downloads folder yes allow it to run yeah so this will open click next agree to terms of services yeah just go with default install and everything yeah you can change location but it's fine for c program files so it will start installing and i think it's fast Just a few minutes. Yeah, so you can see the shortcut is already on desktop. Yeah, I'll not run it for now. I'll open from the icon so that you can see it properly. So it's completed. Go to next and finish. So to run it, you can just double click on this. And if it's not here, you can find it in uh, your C drive. There will be code blocks. So this is how it looks while downloading, uh, while opening so what there is like so many things here but what we care about is creating a new project and here also it gives you a bunch of option but for our cp purposes you only need to choose console application and then click go if you want to make a c project then click c as you choose c plus plus we'll mostly be working with c plus plus you can give title so i'll give my title first and click next this should be like this if it's something different in you then you can change it to be like this then finish okay so the project opens like this uh, you can open this and see that there's already a main.cpp file in it and this is like the most basic file if i run it it's just gonna print hello world so to run this, I'll just do this build and run. It first builds the project and then runs it for me. So build and run. So as you can see, it opened a output window where hello world is there. So this is how you can download code blocks and run the programs in it. Hope you enjoyed.